Hey everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. But before we dive into the action, I want to take a moment to wish all my subscribers a happy new year. It's January 1st, and what better way to kickstart the year than with some creative video editing. Before we jump into the exciting part, let's make sure everything is set up correctly. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Set the dimensions and duration according to your preferences. Don't worry about getting it perfect, we can always adjust later. Ready? Let's move on. Use the text tool to type in your desired text. Here I type logo. Play around with different fonts and styles to find the perfect look for your text. Now comes the magical part using the Element 3D plugin. Go to the Scene Setup panel. Under the Custom Layers section, you should find options for Custom Text and Masks. Click on Custom Text to select our text layer. This will use the text you created in After Effects. Inside the Element 3D interface, here, you can control parameters like bevel width, bevel depth, and roundness to customize the appearance of the bevels on your extruded text. Navigate to the Pro Shaders 2 collection. Choose a material that fits the title theme. Pro Shaders 2 provides a variety of materials. After applying the texture, adjust mapping options such as scale, offset, and rotation to control how the texture is mapped onto the title. Select the material and go to Bump Maps section and disable the bump map. Adjust diffuse color to light yellow color from the color picker. Browse through the available environment maps, one that fits the mood and style of our title. Click OK to return to your After Effects composition. Now it's time to add a background image. Drag the background layer onto the timeline in the composition. In the After Effects timeline, ensure that the Element 3D layer is above the background image layer. If it's not, drag the Element 3D layer above the background image layer. Look for the cube icon in the Switches column. Click on it to enable the layer as a 3D layer. Adjust the Z value to move the layer farther away in 3D space. Increase the Z value to push the layer. Experiment with scaling to find the right balance for your composition. In the timeline, right-click on an empty space. Choose New Light to create a new light. Choose a red color for the light by clicking on the color swatch. Set the light type to Point. Make sure the Cast Shadows option is enabled. After that, adjusting the light's position until you achieve a visually pleasing match with the background red light. Pressing the A key twice to reveal the material options and turn off accepts lights. Analyze the background image to identify the main light source direction. This will help you understand where the light is coming from. Select the red point light layer in the timeline. Press Ctrl plus J to duplicate the selected layer. Click on the duplicated light layer to select it. Go to the layer panel and you can find the light settings. Adjust the light color property to a yellow hue. Continue adjusting the position of the duplicated yellow point light to simulate the top left side lighting. Keep refining the positions, colors, and intensities of both lights until you achieve the cinematic lighting effect. Go to Element 3D's Output Settings and enable Enhance Multi-Sampling and Super Sampling set to 2 for improved visual quality. In the Element 3D settings, enable Shadows and Ambient Occlusion for a more cinematic and realistic look. If your graphics card is powerful, consider changing the Shadow Mode to Ray Trace for Enhanced Cinematic Shadows. Add an even more realistic touch. Let's create a spotlight from the top side. This will give our composition depth and realism. Adjust the position of the spotlight in a way that complements your scene. Move it to the desired top side position. 
reduce the cone angle to around 20 to 25 percent. This will create a more focused and cinematic lighting effect. Go to the Element 3D control panel. Make sure the multi-object checkbox is enabled. And set to Y rotation to 50. Move to the second frame of your composition. Click on the stopwatch icon next to the Y rotation to add a keyframe. The second keyframe 4 or 5 frames later with a value of 0. Perfect. After that we will be focusing on revealing this title using a paint stroke effect. The text layer by selecting it and pressing Ctrl plus D on your keyboard. Make sure the duplicated text layer is on top. If it's not, simply drag it to the top in the timeline. Go to Layer, choose Pre-Compose. Name to Logo Texture. Double-click on the Pre-Composed Logo Texture layer to open its composition. Now drag your texture and place it below the text layer. Select the texture layer. Go to the track mat dropdown and choose text layer. Voila! Your text now has a cool texture. Press S key on the keyboard and scaling the texture adds more depth and detail. Select the texture layer and add tint effect. In the tint effect settings, choose the color you want. For this tutorial, we'll go with a vibrant red. Feel free to explore other color options to make it completely your own. To create the brush strokes, select the pen tool from the toolbar. Make sure the fill and stroke colors are set to your desired values. Now, click and drag to create a path that follows the contours of your 3D title. Don't worry about precision, we'll refine it later. With the brush stroke still selected, apply the roughen edges effect. Play around with the settings until you get the desired look for your brush strokes. It's time to add the trim path. Select one of the strokes, go to the properties panel, and look for the add trim path option. Click on it. Your stroke is now animated. Now that you have the basic animation, let's play around with the trim path settings. You can adjust the start and end points to control the reveal of your stroke. Experiment with different values and see how it affects the animation. Drag our paint texture and place it below the shaped layer. Select the texture layer, go to the track mat dropdown and choose shape layer. Your stroke now has a cool paint texture. Select both layers and go to layer panel and choose pre-compose. Add name to paint stroke. Duplicate the paint stroke comp. Select Logo Comp, drag it to the below in the Paint Stroke Comp. Select the Logo Texture Comp, go to the Track Mat dropdown, and choose Paint Stroke. We need to duplicate our Element 3D layer. Select the layer in the Timeline, go to Edit Panel, and choose Duplicate. This will create an identical copy of our 3D element. Easy as pie. Selecting the Element 3D layer and clicking on Scene Setup. Select it to apply the chrome texture to your 3D text. Hit OK to confirm your changes. Go to the output settings and change to specular. And apply tint effect to the element 3D layer. Now for the secret sauce of this glowing effect, the Deep Glow plugin. Search for Deep Glow, apply it to the duplicated layer. This plugin enhances the glow and adds a touch of magic. You won't believe your eyes. Now, let's add the curve effect to further enhance the glow. The curve effect allows us to adjust the tonal range of the glow, giving us more control over its appearance. To make our glowing effect even more vibrant, we'll apply the screen blend mode to the duplicated layer. This blend mode will blend the bright areas of the layer with the underlying layers, creating a beautiful glow. 
Feel free to adjust the opacity of the text layer to control the intensity of the effect. I hope this tutorial has sparked your creativity and opened new doors for your video editing skills. Happy filmmaking, and once again, a very happy new year to all my subscribers.